Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. This is a channel for Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So if you are new, please do smash that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate that if you like what you hear here. All right, so Virgo, we're coming into the end of July. So we're going to take a look at the other messages that if some messages didn't relate, I'm sorry, resonate with you recently, then we're going to take a look and see if maybe these will. Okay. Um, if you're new, I do daily readings and you can also go over to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, where I will also be giving daily love messages there. Okay. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. What's up everybody in the chat? Hope you're doing well. All right. Let's take a look and see what other messages, what does Virgo need to know? What Virgo here needs to know what love message, what's going on? Okay. Heart with a key. Wow. That's a big one for you guys. Welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together, perfection or perfect together. Okay. Stabbed in the back. Oh, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Okay. <clears throat> Very lighthearted card there. What the hell? All right. Let me see. Some of you felt like you met the one and then you faced heartbreak after that or that person stabbed you in the back. Okay, out of the blue. Oh, and you've got kisses. <laughs> um, for some of you, this is also meeting somebody. You could be meeting somebody new at this time period um, after being stabbed in the back by somebody, okay? Um, where someone's coming in, um, uh, falling in love energy. All right, let me take a look and see what your Celtic cross messages are here, okay? Um, but I feel like mostly for a lot of you, this is just, you know, there's some kind of separation that you are in with someone. Sorry, who maybe you thought that was the, your person. Okay, there was a lot of unconditional love, affection that you had for somebody. And um, I don't, for some out of the blue, like a heartbreak or, you know, a like a just a out of the blue kind of like somebody maybe deceived or lied about something. Maybe you're taking that heart or that key out of the heart again. Out of, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know. I just feel like there was a lot of love for someone in your life and they felt like maybe you were opening your heart or you opened your heart to that person and they felt like the one for you and then there was some type of separation or heartbreak okay past position ten of pentacles virgo current ace of pentacles beautiful the challenge the sun driving you seven of wands crowning is you lovely lovely coming towards you okay in the near future not coming towards you but what's up ahead it's the six of swords your vice three of cups external to you the empress the magician your hopes and the outcome the eight of pentacles and the knight of cups okay bottom of the deck the four of pentacles okay so this is kind of like holding back energy being a little possessive not opening the heart um, keeping yourself like well protected. A lot of you, it's like, I'm just, uh, just protecting my heart from now on after some kind of hurt. It doesn't mean you're not open to love. It just means that, you know, you put the key in a door that was unlocked or that you got to, somebody let you unlock the key and then that person maybe locked it up on you again. Okay. Um, or for some of you, it could have been a fire sign. Um, and for others, this is kind of like you're taking some bold steps here at the end of this month. You really are. With the Queen of Wands, you're embodying that energy of bravery, boldness. Doors are locked, blocked. <laughs> you're not letting somebody in or you're not letting certain people in. Uh, it could be somebody who stabbed you in the back. Um, that you may still have affection for or that you maybe fell in love with but you're just like nope that person feels like is being left out in the cold 
and you've got the fool here and this just tells me like you are you're freeing yourself okay king of cups could have had a it could be a water sign cancer scorpio pisces aries leo sagittarius also the king of swords gemini libra like everybody's here aquarius okay everybody's here um let me see okay so here's what i'm feeling this is so strange um if you were involved with a fire sign i feel like that person was just like there was nothing there they were like broke bust and disgust it's just cold just very cold if you're involved with the water water sign a very immature energy with the fool um somebody who you know very deep feelings but just wanted to be free and single and if you had a connection with a king of swords like a, a or male or female an air sign this person was very secretive okay now let me see let me see i want to just give you a message if you were involved with an earth sign i just want to see <laughs> is there a king i know the queen of pentacles is on the table so is there an earth sign It's weird that I'm doing it this way, but I'm being called to give you a message about an earth sign. Hold on one sec. Where are you? You're not here, are you? Uh uh. Okay. Hmm, the King of Pentacles is showing up here. Uh, earth sign, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, uh, waiting on you. Okay very interesting so there's a there's an earth sign who's waiting either waiting to hear back from you or is ready to like standing at the crossroads and is like not sure what to do at this time so the past energy ten of pentacles security safety okay solid a solid situation solid ground a sense of like i don't know virgo i feel like somewhere along in the past you felt like okay this is good this is good i feel safe i feel secure i feel like i'm in abundance i have my my um my health my wealth all the things that i need like i just see i mean this could have been yesterday virgo there's just an energy of like i'm good okay but at the current energy there's an opportunity coming in here for you there's a new opportunity and it's a real struggle for you to be positive about this um it this is like you're being you're going to be given a gift some of you might be receiving a gift and you might have a hard time accepting this gift from what is this gift okay let's see what is this this is like a gold a golden opportunity coming in for you oh they just gave me the tower oh okay well the golden opportunity is and i don't know if this is more of an advice or whatever's going on but the opportunity that's coming in is for you to destroy whatever something was in the past maybe it's just a line of thinking or something that maybe you thought was a good thing because i feel like somebody in your past was like one way and then and if something ended which i feel like there was separation like this is a blessing in disguise that's what i feel but it's hard for you to just look at this and say okay i'm trying to see the silver lining in this um but my like i'm in a lot of pain or i have a, a lot of heartbreak okay um maybe you there might be an opportunity here for you to destroy the shit out of somebody's ego who's walking around with a big freaking head and thinks their shit doesn't stink um let me see okay five of cups yeah so mostly this is you're being called at this time virgo to look back on something of that something happened that was very negative and to see it as an actual blessing to challenge probably but it's a benefit for you to get back out in the sun to get back up on the horse to get back into some kind of joyous pleasant state let me see this yep i was just asking what was this past thing there was some kind of betrayal in an, in a marriage or something that was stable ended okay something ended or that whether even if it wasn't stable maybe you felt or thought that it was let me try to get this so you can see it okay um yeah and 
You might be feeling a lot of remorse or grief or sadness at this time, but I feel like spirit is trying to tell you that what you're feeling right now, this is like will produce the most growth for you in your life, okay? Grieve. They're saying it's time for you to grieve. This is an opportunity for you to release, okay? And it sounds like a very spiritual message. Um, the sun is shining on you and some of you still have your curtains pulled and you are not trying to go outside or you are not trying to, um, you don't want to feel the sun right now. Some, not all of you. Uh, maybe there's a fear. Okay. Um, hmm. yeah, there's the fool again. So that you're being called to free yourself from something, uh, from this betrayal some stabbed in the back energy something that might have just came out of the blue you know um you might have been married um it could have been a long time ago but you might have been involved married or in a long-term relationship and everything seemed grounded and good or fine um and yeah i could just that stabbed in the back like 10 times right there um for some of you this is something that could have happened to you a long time ago in your life okay a long time ago that is still kind of lingering and affecting your relationships going forward uh, there's something here that you need to like put an end to that so you can find your peace and happiness because you have very defensive energy you do you're here like you nobody's gonna hurt me again okay and you're in that position and there's no judgment that's not you know it's just something i feel like crowning down here your thoughts it's like you just want to get yourself back into a good place get back to your authentic self who you are you know get yourself restabilized reorient yourself to your surroundings um some of you might have an earth sign on your mind at this time but what's coming up for you in the near future is actually like you're doing it. There's change. There's like you're facing some kind of fear. So for some of you, that could be like going into some kind of counseling, maybe for trauma bonding or some stuff that happened in your past when you were younger or at some point in your life. Um, it's time to destroy all that and just, you know, heal and uh, deal and heal is what I feel like. It's time to deal and heal. Um, you might be getting some spiritual downloads at this time coming to you like, oh, wow, light bulbs going off. This is what happened and this is why. Not because of somebody else. I don't feel like you're focused on anybody else and looking at their resume <laughs> or their like statement analysis of who they are, where they came from. It's more like taking a look at yourself, okay? Looking at self, reflecting on, you know, where you were in your life why things went a particular way listen virgo somebody who betrays you or stabs you in the back that's how they feel about themselves if somebody betrayed you lied to you caused distrust um some you know i hope that you didn't take ownership of that because what people choose to do has nothing to do with us we don't have power over other people so if somebody decided to be deceptive or if they're choosing to cheat or lie or things like that that's a reflection of them okay and i'm talking about like mortal sins i'm talking about like like severe like you know severe betrayal in relationships and severe uh, dislodging of trust things like that that's heavy duty stuff so i feel like you virgo Towards the end of the of the month here and going into August, you're really making strides, okay? And your advice here, I feel like this is a similar message to maybe the other day. You have the Three of Cups. Your advice here for some of you is to get out there and date. For others, socialize and get with your soul tribe and connect with your people, okay? Friends, family members, you know, people who support you, all right? People who support you because I feel like somebody really... You know you got to deal with this pain okay i don't feel like you should deliver pain as revenge i feel like the best revenge for you is to live your best life and to live well now what's external to you okay there might have been somebody that you were with in the past that had a child with somebody else or went back to an ex or there was a mother involved in a situation 
highly. Let me take a look. You could have been involved with also a Libra for some of you. Okay, but there is somebody here external to you who is in a position of having a new beginning. Let me see. Wow, and they've got the Four of Pentacles as well. Hmm. Oh, this person's hiding. They might be hiding a relationship or hiding someone who's pregnant or they got somebody pregnant and they're hiding that um, or they are pregnant and they're hiding that. Okay, let me see. Oh God, Seven of Swords, come on. You might have connected with someone at some point in the past where like you thought that was the one and found out that they were giving or fell in love with somebody else so they were giving affection and, and kisses or uh, there was a little bit of something going on between another person there was definitely lies and deception attached to whoever this person is it's external to you okay this could be that person that was like betraying you that's harsh that is such a harsh energy oh yeah okay Ten of Cups. So either they married this person or started a new family or they were hiding a family that they had. Um, but they're lying. They're lying to this person as well. So if you're sitting here like, oh, okay, well, they went with somebody else and feeling, if you're comparing yourself, trust me when I tell you, whoever they were talking to or are currently talking to or whatever's going on, there's nothing but deceptions and lies. And this person is also blocking them their heart from that person like if somebody was capable of doing this harshness to you tr don't think that they're going to change for somebody else they're they're going to keep that pattern and that cycle going and you have to understand that that this had nothing to do with you this person is going to betray like they're doing here and deceive the next person and then when that's over they're either going to come back to you and try to deceive you or they'll find somebody else and they'll keep because that's who they are that person did not get any healing, okay? They are just going to keep leaving um, a wake of destruction as they keep moving on in their life. And you got to disown yourself from that and say, you know what? All the love in the world isn't going to heal somebody. And you are not somebody's parent. And they will just keep living there. They'll probably wind up living all alone. Let me just take a look. I'm going to see more of what your advice is here. Okay, yeah. You need to not gaslight yourself and figure out what the truth is about who you are. Be honest and real with yourself. Okay? And with other people. And, and remind yourself that Virgo, like seriously, you are you're amazing so this is their loss okay this is their loss and they may not know that it's a loss to them until they start losing people and people start dropping like flies around them okay look at this the hangman your advice here is to seek a new perspective of who you are because i feel like a lot of you um you probably got damaged pretty bad by somebody and i think it might have come out of the blue with that shocking attack like completely unexpected Okay, so your hopes, you have the magician. So this is like being able to just be transparent and focus on the things that you want to have in your life or the focusing on and being grateful the things that you do have in your life currently. Okay, so that's a very good energy. As long as your hope is in that place for manifesting for self, um, creating abundance in your life, then, then you're on the right path, okay? Um, I feel like you just need to grieve and then you need to understand that that person who hurt you or did what they did was an egotistical little shit. <laughs> okay. Um, this person, you know what? Some of you might have ended something with someone because they were messing around. It could have been that way as well and destroyed somebody's ego or just gave them their what for. It doesn't mean it didn't hurt, but I feel like freeing yourself and starting your life over is the best thing you can do don't wait around for someone to come back because i'm going to tell you what they are going to return here okay the eight of pentacles when you're busy and maybe just focusing on yourself polishing up your coins doing your work 
um, creating recipes. Maybe you have like, maybe you do that. Doing all the things that you like to do, cleaning. You could just be cleaning your glasses, studying. Maybe you're in school, uh, like getting some training for work or do whatever. This person's just gonna pop up out of the blue. Here comes Mr. or Mrs. Prince Charming or Princess Charming, whichever, at the outcome. And this person is walking in here and they are, you know, offering that cup of love again, okay? Offering that cup of love, why? Because for some, the person that they're connecting with is feeling the energy, yeah, that this, that they, the, the person they're connecting with is feeling like this, is feeling like their person has got something new going on, okay? And if it's a, if it's a, like a male that you are connecting with, this person has a boner for everybody, okay? And I don't mean to say that you weren't unique and you weren't special. I don't feel like that's the case at all. Let me see. Did this person love you at all even? Did this person love Virgo even a little bit? Like, what was the deal? What were the feelings for this person? Page of Swords. Oh, this person did not know how to love. I think there was a, um, a problem with that, okay? They were, they were a bit possessive, very stalkerish. Um, the devil is here. So a lot of toxicity came come from this person. And, you know, if you two were together, that might have been a dynamic that got created between the two of you. Um, this person was very youngish like with the three of pentacles makes me feel like of a student and uh, maybe still being directed by parents or they were just someone who um, maybe just very book smart but not good with relationships it could have been that uh, it's childish energy it's childish energy and and that's what made it toxic because this person just never grew up they were it feels like their energy were, are, currently, this person is like an adult, or like a child in an adult's body. That's really what it is, because it's, you, you ever see like kids, when children are playing together, you know, they play, but then a child will go off somewhere else and play with someone else, and, and um, <laughs> they don't, they don't know to excuse themselves they're children do you know what I mean that children are, a, are after they're seeking their own satisfaction and that's a childish that's a childlike thing to do that's why children you know they we mature and then we come to understand that we have we have to share and we have other people in our lives as we get older but this person acts very childish like so they would go from one to the next and they don't understand that there could be um you know an effect on another person especially if there was a romantic so you were basically like i guess yeah and then they would just kill something and move on to something else the person so did they have feelings for you i don't think so and i don't mean in the sense where i don't mean it's that it was it a choice if they were capable to love you or to have deep feelings for you i think maybe but this person doesn't even feel worthless i mean doesn't even feel worthy so if somebody can't love themselves how can they even give love to another person you know i mean that's a real thing i mean i do feel like this person saw you as very like they're very passionate about you definitely um they may have told you that they loved you but I don't know that they really identified or could feel that energy because I feel if they did have any feelings for you, it would have been at the emotional level of a child. Yeah, see, just not getting any cup energy here. You know, this person, there's a lack of emotion here. There's a lack of feeling. Yeah, a lot of like withdrawal with this person. Um, so we have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands here. Um, fire energy, a lot of withdrawal, silence, inability to communicate, uh, leaving out in the cold kind of energy, um, very busy with other things in their life. A little bit of like with that Page of Swords, just 
maybe nasty at times or just immature communication that kind of thing <laughs> temperance constantly trying to look they, this person lived in the light and the dark you know i feel like they came across as being very well balanced well mannered someone who's like you know they gave representation that they were someone who um was very stable they may have come across as very peaceful at times but they gave this impression as being like oh we're in harmony we're together i'm with you but with the moon it was like all lies and deception i feel like this person is a real shit stain um but do i feel like they intentionally tried to hurt you i don't feel that way i just feel like they kind of made it seem as if they they wanted to be something they could be for you but they knew that they couldn't and they couldn't face that that they weren't either good enough or that they couldn't live up to what they were saying and so instead they just run to another person but it feels like yeah this other look three of the three of swords that's over with that's why this person's making a, a beeline back in your direction oh you know usually when a bee stings it winds up dying so let them sting you if you need to <laughs> i just kind of feel and i don't mean to make light of the whole situation but i just feel like this person this wasn't even about you that's how i feel i feel like this person was just lacking the capability to love or be in a relationship and perhaps wanted it more than anything you know it's like if somebody like it's it's i was talking to my girlfriend today and she said the same thing she's like as much as i would love to be a famous movie star it, it's not I, I don't have the capabilities to do that right now right i'm a stay-at-home mom <laughs> you know i'm taking care of my kids i don't I, I don't even know how to act it's like one of those things you know you might want to become president of a country but if you think about it like do you have what it takes to do that right now some of you might but some of you be like nah i don't think so i want to but i don't think i'm capable to do that i i don't even i wouldn't even know where to start i'd have to have the money and the resources and like change my whole life or get into this mindset you know this person wanted to be i feel like something that they knew they couldn't be so they pretended to be because why because it didn't want to feel a sense of failure right maybe some of you ended it because you were like no you know and then they went to somebody else and then that's not going so well because they keep doing the same thing they keep recycling over and over okay let me see why what am i looking at here i wish i could share my good news with you okay see now you've got trust is safe to trust in this situation and this is a message right now it is safe for you to trust in what i'm telling you this situation right here what i'm telling you is what i feel like the energy is now this person is going to make a beeline back in your direction and i'm going to go into the extended rating to see you know what's going on with that is this person like coming in are there, are, are there any changes that are going to be made and there's some good news as well so i feel like they're going to come in and tell you some good news so we're going to see what that is okay we'll wait for a sign from you so some of you listen this person's not going to get a sign because i don't feel like you've got that door open others of you might have that door open um but you're not it might be like just a slight crack I don't know I feel like if you gave this person any inclination that you were still interested they would definitely they're watching to see if there's a way to get back in if or if you would take them back okay so you've got retreat it's time to disconnect from the world so I feel like what does that mean for you whatever the world means for you the world wide web <laughs> the internet disconnect from other people um except for your close your soul tribe let me see okay yeah there's some forgiving and learning here i feel like virgo for you remember i was saying whatever might have happened in the past might still be lingering and if you are like 
saying to yourself, you know what, I want a healthy, a healthy, happy, I want a good relationship, a healthy relationship with someone. I feel like some of you are kind of like, I got to get, I got to heal from whatever this, this betrayal was. Okay. I don't know that you're going to take somebody back. Now, let me just find out. I just wanted to ask, there is a love offer coming and it could be this person making a beeline, but I feel like I need to know, is this new love? Huh, nine of swords, a Libra. Okay, we got a Libra showing up here. I feel like it's gonna come in unexpected. Oh, okay. Well, that's waiting for a sign from you. Yeah, there's a lot of waiting energy here. <clears throat> oh my gosh, some conflict, communication, page of cups. This is new love for some of you, okay? And for, you know, it could be both. I mean, this person's going through, like, there's an argument or separation with whomever they're communicating with. They're also... I just, they just gave me another message also that this person, they do view you as this Empress energy, like nothing compares to you, anybody else that they've gone with, like you're, you, like no, no one compares to you. And I feel like this person is very possessive of you, but still they're sneaking around watching you. Okay. This person is, I do feel like they want to have this 10 of cups energy with you. Like they definitely have a thing for you. And, um, but you guys, but they're, they like, you guys might be in separation, like I said, because it was stabbed in the back. So Virgo, like, if you're going to take somebody back here, you know, it's up to you. You got to do what you got to do. But I feel like this person is, they got to get real. They got to get transparent and they got to get real. And if they're like, it, it's not even about love. It really isn't at this point. I feel like for you guys, it's more about, okay, great. But are you capable of being like, uh, like if you're, if you only have um, a high school education, um, you're not going to come work for NASA as a scientist. Like you got to be capable. <laughs> you know what I mean? What training do you have? Like, you know, do you, are you even, oh, so there's three things that someone has to be. They have to be capable, motivated, and willing to be in a relationship. So ask yourself, did this person have any of those three signs? Were they capable? No. Were they willing? Yes. Were they motivated? Eh. Okay. Or they might've been. Did they run away? Probably. Let me see what other message you have here. Okay. Hmm. Insights that come from meditation, the need to rest or take a vacation, allow yourself more time before making a decision here, Virgo. You need to get more sleep. You might have some mental exhaustion at this point. Okay, you've got the lovers. Embrace true love and deep, intimate friendships. Make choices from the heart. Vibrant health or recovery from an illness. So the Four of Swords, this is a healing. Okay, this is a healing. You're healing from something. You're healing from a love relationship, that's for sure. Um, but this is also a card of a decision. So if you're going to be in a position of making a decision whether to accept somebody's love back into your life or this person's cup, remember it's a knight, so it's a charming card. Um, I wouldn't take a knight, uh, prince or princess charming coming in as don't be charmed by anybody. Don't be charmed. See past that. Words are spells remember that okay the sun a time of great joy and success brilliant epiphanies that lead to magical opportunities plans that work out perfectly gratitude to the vine and you know what you had the sun here and i feel like the challenge and the healing energy is for you to get basically healed here from the situation and, and get back into feeling positive about something i mean betrayal is awful it's an awful thing to have to deal with what is this? Okay. It was calling in your soulmate and it was upside down. So don't be reaching out. 
don't be trying to you know sort anything out with anybody that's if they if you were betrayed or somebody did something that's them they gotta they have to come in and make those amends you're not chasing anybody okay keep it moving virgo let me see what your chinese sign is here okay year of the ox year of the tiger year of the rooster year of the rabbit year of the dog year of the goat okay right two more they just said year of the horse and year of the snake wow we got all different ones so that could be you it could be your person it could be both of you um all right let me see what is moon pie's messages here oh popular social female okay there's somebody showing up in your life a female very popular very social this is somebody i feel like you, you'll be connecting with who is gonna kind of like drag you out of the house to go do stuff <laughs> if you're not really like feeling like doing stuff emotional wish being granted wow very nice okay so something you've been hoping and praying for or wishing for that will have like a profound emotional uh positive effect on you is being granted in the next couple of weeks let me see okay trust your intuition the answer lies deep within you trust spirit wait for answers to be revealed to you okay so right now you guys are probably like i feel some of you are like i don't know i gotta trust god because i don't know and a lot of you are just like you know what it will all be revealed somebody is regretting <laughs> sitting in a lot of regret and a lot of remorse here it could be you so you know let go of that you can't live your life with regret if you made a mistake choosing someone who you thought was good the love of your life everybody makes mistakes if you need to take the l take the l and um, learn the lesson heal grow and do better next time which means you know use your discernment in getting to know people don't um if you fall in love too fast you know you're gonna hit your head bump your head on the ground you're gonna you're gonna um you know like sometimes i just think you guys that love is so overrated because it's that whole dopamine hit in the beginning you know all oh, the fantasy the idealization all that but you know what that's not the true person it takes time to get to know people you know, you can, your heart can flutter and you can get some butterflies, but you got to keep your emotions in check when you're meeting somebody new, um, because it's really important because if you get attached too soon to someone you don't really know, you run, it's not just a simple risk. You run a grave risk. There are people who go through things like this and they wind up not making it out alive. Okay. Or that extreme um you know down on themselves or they get very depressed like you you can't avoid every single thing but you can be smart about the choices you make you know you can get those butterflies and feelings about someone acknowledge them but say okay but that's not going to run my decisions here okay i just because i'm excited about you and us and the potential um i still need to get to know you like what's your credit like <laughs> what's your resume what's your relationship are you a serial killer like what's the deal with you because you don't know you don't know people virgo do you have references can i see your references <laughs> i need to talk to all like at least your last three exes can i have their phone numbers because i want to know why things didn't work out i want to i want to know like why you're not with them why they dumped you or why you left like i want to know the truth you got to ask questions and you got to be bold and you got to like, when somebody tells you something, you got to say, oh, really? Tell me more about that and have them tell you because you need to see if like people are lying to you. Okay. Secure home. So this basically Virgo, this is like, you know what? I'm locking up my doors. I'm putting a camera outside. Your home is your soul. Secure your soul. Stand guard. What did I just see? Stand your ground. Protect your heart. Protect your soul, Virgo. Okay. If you got hurt learn learn from it okay the pain doesn't last forever but say you know what yeah i'm getting away from this fear and anxiety i'm moving to a safer place
okay? And that, you know, that might be a physical place and that just could be your mental place. I'm moving to a safe place because this fear and anxiety, it cannot reside. Fear and love cannot coincide. They can't coexist. Fear and love do not coexist. You were loving someone and they were fearing and they were incapable, but they were trying, but they just couldn't do it. Um, okay, wait. Let me get some signs here for you. All right, Libra, Pisces. Okay. Uh, Scorpio. And Leo. Okay, so here's some numbers for you. We've got two, we have eight, we have 16, we have 10, 11, and we have six, and we have seven, okay? Let me get a couple of more, let's see what other signs. If we get double signs, then that's really a message for you. Okay, Capricorn, Cancer. Uh, Pisces again and Libra again. Okay, Libra was showing up strong in this reading. All right, we also have a bird. Okay, very significant. This feels more like a dove. Um, and we also have, you guys have a unicorn here. Beautiful, that I can't pick up. Okay, something very unique and special about you, Virgo. And I hope that you're able to see that and that you are worthy and that you are wonderfully and fearfully made. You are beautiful, your heart and your soul. Now, okay, we have the dove of peace. We have one, two birds and a feather, okay? So there's something here about freedom that you need to pay attention to. There's something here about taking flight okay maybe you're going on a trip or you're planning a trip or you got invited to go somewhere on a trip um and that unicorn means there's something here very special about you and i don't know that you're seeing it maybe you will see it in time but you've got to realize and they're just telling me to tell you this this is not your fault this is not your fault virgo this thing whatever happened to you in the past it's not your fault and if somebody made it seem like it was your fault or you're made with love if somebody made it seem to you like or if they maybe you were involved with a narcissist or someone who was like love bombing you and then devaluing and discarding you know whatever the situation i don't know i'm not a doctor i'm not a therapist i don't have the qualification but i can tell you anybody who does that to somebody there's something seriously wrong with them because even a normal healthy person will just say if they don't want to have the relationship anymore, they'll be kind and they'll say, you know, I, I'm not feeling this anymore. And, and they'll just tell you, they'll let you down easy. They won't cheat and they won't lie. And that, there's nothing you can do, Virgo, to make some, the old saying, oh, um, if you had loved your person enough, or if you've given them more sex, or if you gave them more attention, or if you did this and did that, then they wouldn't have done that. That's a load of crock. Is a bunch of bullshit because people make a decision to cheat they make decisions to lie based on themselves and who they are it has nothing to do with the other person okay people aren't perfect but we communicate with each other and we're transparent and if someone says you know i don't i'm not feeling like you love me um you've been distant can we talk and the other person if they have been distant and really do they're mature and really care about that person and say yeah you know what i'm so sorry i've had a lot of my mind and i probably should be talking to you and i guess i pulled out a little bit and I, I distanced myself and i'm sorry what can i do to make it up to you and then work towards fixing that it's not you know don't ever believe the lies and the bullshit that people tell you virgo and if you do, I'm here to tell you, stop that, right? Most Virgos don't believe it, but most Virgos are like, you know what? No, mm -mm. some of you are sitting here like, no, you made that decision to cheat. I didn't push you to do that. And if, and if you felt like you needed to do that and you couldn't come to me and talk to me instead of leaving the relationship or getting somebody else involved, what does that say about you? Or go talk to somebody else? You know what I mean? There's no excuse. 
there's it's just like i know i'm being harsh here but the way this reading is and i'm in a very good mood today guys so i'm very happy but the way this reading is coming out when i see stabs in the back and the ten of swords all i feel like is you know this is something that you i don't think you expected it i feel like it came out of the blue and i i feel like a lot of you are just really struggling with that and you need to know that you are worthy and you are wonderful and you are kind and you are lovely and you and very handsome every virgo i've ever met top of the line gorgeous and you need to remember these things and you have a good heart and that's the most important you're not at fault and if and if you reacted badly to somebody or you said mean things well there's things that you got to take a look at within yourself to heal okay but you have to understand uh, virgos don't retaliate or or become vengeful or say things to people unless they're really pushed across the line and because virgos are always the kindest and most supportive so it takes a lot for virgo to get to that place and when then when virgo is like that with somebody they hate that they have to be that way they try everything they can not to be that way but at some point like because virgo will take as much as possible but still strive to make the relationship good and but at some point virgo breaks you're human what are you gonna do but virgo if you know in your heart that you weren't lying and cheating and your intentions were good and you were really trying to make something work here and they just bolted or they did what they did that's not you that's not on you don't be walking around with guilt don't be blaming yourself let that person go through their shit they have to all right this reading was tough but i'm going to go into the extended and i'm going to take a look because i feel like the i do feel like this person is coming back in and i feel like they're going to be reaching out and you know charming but i need to know here in your reading if this person's like are they coming back because something ended with somebody else or are they coming back because they really want to all right virgo i'll see you guys tomorrow bye